So this one is similar to uh, the compression routine where you work on the ESGs, but we're going to combine deep effleurage with rocking, and then after we get to the deepest layers, we're going to slow it down and isolate specific spots. We can release the erector spinae group and then all the way deeper to that to the transversus spinalis rotatoris multifidi. So, of course, if you're new to using your elbow and forearm, you can guide it by having your hand next to it. We're going to add some rocking and some movement right on top of the ESG. So I'm not on her spinous processes. I'm on the muscle. And the first time you're going lighter, you may feel like you get better body mechanics going up superiorly towards the head, going down inferiorly, or you may even go both directions at the same time. As you repeat the stroke, you're going to get deeper and deeper. So you're going to feel where are there tight spots and where is it softening. And then you can get progressively deeper and then slow down and release where it's tight. So there's a tight spot right here. A little bit of rocking helps let it go. I've already done this deep, slow effleurage, which is called stripping. And now I'm actually going to do some prolonged ischemic compression. And then it got softer, it melted, and I'm going to go on. You can isolate all the way down to the little crisscross transversal spinalis muscles the multifidi and rotories. And I'll show you on the skeleton in a minute how those are deep in the lamina groove. And of course you can do this one forearm at a time. You don't have to start right off with two forearms. So you want to break it down to an, into its simplest form. Your fingers, your hands are palpating the spinous processes and protecting your elbow from bumping into those. You can put your elbow or forearm right into there, or you could just have it nearby. So you're feeling here and you're massaging here because these are nice, big, strong muscles and it feels good to get deep with them. So you take that. Each time you go up or down, you slow down where it's tighter. And then you can stop the rocking mo movements at times even. If it's warmed up enough, you can slow down to a 7 and release an area. And on that 1 to 10 scale, if 7 is perfect or intense, too deep, where is that? 7. Okay. If you notice my hand is soft and my wrist is either straight or floppy, if I make a fist or pull my wrist back and hold tension in my hand, I lose the sensitivity of what I'm doing because I'm using all these muscles for tension and Bridget can probably feel the difference in what just happened to how my pressure is. it the same kind of nice seven anymore? Mm -mm. I've used all these muscles and strength like if I exaggerate it I'm like that's where my force <laughs> is going. So I need to relax all that so that I can find a position <coughs> where I am totally relaxed so I can like relax and responsively feel what is best for her and just wait there. So it doesn't look like much, but if you repeat this and slow down on the tight spots, you can release a tremendous amount of tension in their back if we just add that lateral release work as well.